Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the much awaited Oxygen OS from OnePlus One. If we go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find I am running on Oxygen OS 1.0.0 which is based on the Android Lollipop 5.0.2 and you can see the kernel version and all. It also supports the system update, OTA system updates so you can always check for the latest update. Okay, so first of all, it looks good to me. They're using the Google Now launcher with the Google Now option on while swiping to the left. And you can see the basic options like this is the Lollipop launcher. And then here is the Hangouts for as the default messaging application and then Google Chrome as the default browser. And then this is the camera like uh, many options are there like photosphere many modes are there so they are also showing these tutorials how to use them besides that panorama is there and then lens blur so it's a shoot with lens blur to help the sub subject stand out so it's a new mode and it's showing how to take that picture so that's about lens blur and then camera normal camera and then video camera besides that I have, we'll get the settings camera settings like resolution and quality you can customize the quality from here and then you can customize the quality of the video photosphere other options and then save location if you want to add that and manual exposure another help and feedback so that's about the camera application uh, there is no gallery application I saw with this ROM instead they added this photo from the Google and you can see the Google all the Google applications here from here and then uh, here as well like uh, Google office applications and play entertainment applications play store everything is there okay now look at the looking at the notification area you can find as you tap here you can directly go to the calendar application tap in there it will open the alarm and other clock options and then clicking on the battery icon you can directly go to the battery options from there there is like battery icon battery circle you can change the icons of the battery and battery percentage battery hidden like that you can choose and from clicking here you can go to the battery service saver and then you can turn it on and on, turn it off and then you can always give the percentage to turn it on automatically and that's about the notification area and uh, here you can see by switch, clicking here you can switch between the users and this is the uh, brightness control and other toggles here if you tap on this one you can reorder these toggles like this whatever you want you can reorder all these toggles it's something new and you can save it later so that's about that and then if you go to the settings option you can see these are the first section you can find all these options in almost all the CM12 versions and then in buttons you can if you want you can add the on-screen navigation bar and then you can customize that in and then besides that you can customize the physical keyboard here like a home button a long press action and then double tap action menu button menu button short action is like opening the recent app switcher so this is the recent app switcher with the Google search and then you can also close all the application within just one click so that's about the recent applications and then go back to settings again you can find uh, gestures these are the off screen screen of gestures like we saw in the stock voice like making that uh, all gesture will open the camera and then V for Okay, torch is open, torch, it's on the torch. Maybe my screen is not okay. Okay, so that's about the gestures and then in the display settings you can find brightness level, adaptive brightness, wallpaper, lock screen wallpaper, daydream, you can ask me font size and when uh, phone when device is rotated you can customize these things and then cast the screen. 
Next is the in sound and volume options. You can see interruptions. If you click on the volume button here, you can find these interrupt priorities and interruptions from here as well. And phone ringtone. Another of sounds options here. You can customize. When devices locked, app notification. You can customize and then notification access. So these are about the notification sound and notification option. And the next one is the storage, battery, apps. This is the app manager. Another user tap and pay as usual. And next uh, lock location, security options. You can see the lock screen options like none swipe pattern pin password these are the normal options nothing new there screen pinning clear apps with the usage access and next accounts language and input you can see all the support language here For now, I think it has some limited application, uh, limited language support. And then backup and restore option, date and time, accessibility, printing, network phone. We already discussed. So this is all about it. that's all about the settings menu. If you go open the application menu, you can find calculator here. Calendar, Camera, Chrome, Clock, Contacts, Docs, Downloads, Driver, Files here. So this is the file manager, I think. Google, Google Plus, Hangouts, Keep, Maps, News and Weather. Play books, play games, play movies, play music, play newsstand, everything is there. Cheats to and slides as well so that's all about the this ROM for now I think it's it looks and it feels good very smooth and no problem so far no bug no serious bugs at all I hope you all like this oxygen OS and if you want to know how to install this ROM this oxygen ROM on your OnePlus One there is a link in the description to show you that just go and check it out thanks for watching please subscribe for more